I would like to welcome you to a Cavo Dental Imaging Training Series for Invivo 6 3D Rendering Software. This tutorial will continue the instruction of the Section View Rendering window that began with the Part 1 tutorial. We will look at additional viewing preferences. You may view only the Rendering window and Toolbar if desired. To do so, select View in the menu bar and select Full Screen. You can still isolate one of the viewing windows by double mouse clicking on it. Click the keyboard escape key to revert to the default view. At times it may be desired or necessary to hide the view window's informational text displays. To do so, simply select the information display icon on the toolbar. Click on it again and the default view will reappear. The cursor lines may be put behind the images or rendered invisible. Click the toggle cursor visibility icon once to put the cursors behind the images and click again to render them invisible. Click again to have them reappear. Let's take a quick look at the sources of the displayed text. At the top left of the viewing windows, the patient name, ID, and their gender is pulled from the Case Info tab in the file section of the menu bar. This is also the source of the scan data. Here you may anonymize the patient information if desired for display and printing purposes. The level and window located at the bottom left will change depending upon the brightness and contrast of the rendered image. These numbers represent Hounsfield units of density. In Vivo Dental and Anatomage, the developer of the software, is located at the bottom right and will not change and cannot be removed. In the upper right corner of the viewing windows, the scan date is extracted from the case info area and Anatomage appears. The practice or doctor's name may appear here if it is entered into the tag text window, which is located in the preferences area that is located in the file tab of the menu bar. Let's enter the generic Dr. John Smith. You may also change the screen appearance while in preferences to either a newly introduced black and white or classic view. The black and white view was demonstrated in part one of the getting started tutorial. Also in preferences, you may choose to automatically save 2D view settings when you exit in vivo. These settings will be reloaded with the next open case. If this is left unselected, the user will need to manually save the configuration by selecting Save View Settings in the View Tabs control panel. The specific 2D view settings that will be saved in each tab can be found in the Invivo Reference Manual. These view settings include brightness, contrast, and sharpen filters. The screen layout may be changed by selecting either Change Layout in the control panel or by clicking the icon on the toolbar. The default setting is equal size for the view windows. There are four additional view windows available, such as Axial plus three sections, which will make the Axial view more prominent than the other two. To revert to the default view, let's click on Default in the Layout section of the control panel. You may also choose a light box style format. The light box is composed of four to 32 sections or slices of either axial, sagittal, or coronal views. The user may also define the slice interval by selecting a drop-down option with a thickness range between 0.1 to 20 millimeters or by manually entering a number within the interval on the keyboard. Let's shift our attention to the functions available within the control panel. The view control should be set to dental. As needed, color presets may be used to better visualize certain anatomic structures, soft tissue profiles, airway, etc. The color rendering is only for visualizations. The colors are based on densities but do not represent the density value of bone. Brightness and contrast can be adjusted for each of the presets to enhance the images in the rendering window. These sliders will adjust all the viewing windows at the same time. In the previous video, you learned how to adjust the brightness and contrast of each viewing window by left mouse clicking on a viewing window and dragging the mouse up and down for brightness and left to right for contrast. The sharpening drop-down will allow you to apply a mild or hard filter if desired for better viewing of the 2D slice renderers. The slice thickness drop-down will allow for the image to be thickened by increasing the number of adjacent voxels included in the slice. This procedure is called ray sum. 
there is an additional 3D view and a custom section that may be created to populate the fourth viewing window. I will show you how to do that in part three of the section tab tutorial. Within the image info area, the size of the voxel that was selected when the scan was taken will be shown. In this example, a 0.3 millimeter voxel was selected. Within pointer coordinates, scalar value is the grayscale value of the voxel pointed to by the cursor pointer. HU or Hounsfield units are an approximate value of the voxel calculated by rescale slope and rescale interrupt. This gives us a ballpark idea of the density of the bone. The larger the number, the denser the bone. As you drag the mouse pointer to different areas within the anatomy, the corresponding HU values of a voxel will be indicated. As a word of caution, however, HU value approximation may not be accurate if your CT hardware calibration is off. Also, values can vary over a range based on the physical characteristics of the object being imaged. This concludes part two of the section view tutorial. Please join us for the next video, which will build upon the information that was covered in this tutorial. If you have any unanswered questions, or if you would like additional information, consult the InVivo reference manual. If you do not have a copy of the manual, or still have questions, contact Cavo Dental Imaging Technical Support by calling 866-528-6537.